Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Bubblegum Reviews. My name is Steve, and tonight's review will be on the movie Iron Man with uh, Robert Downey Jr., Terrence Howard, Jeff Bridges, and Gwyneth Paltrow. Uh, so I've seen this movie, I want to say two or three times. Uh, last time I saw it was probably about... Looking at about three years ago, I ended up starting the chronological of the MCU, and this is obviously on the top of the list, so I ended up watching it, and I just kind of stopped watching them. I think I stopped at like the Winter Soldier or something like that. So this is why I'm doing my rewatch, and plus this way I can throw reviews on you guys. Uh, so... This is a, this movie is a lot of fun. Uh, oh, quick, quick, a uh, little quick summary into this. So, this movie is about pretty much how Iron Man came to be, and how the suit and everything. So, yeah, this this is a fun watch. It definitely is a lot more than most of the Marvel movies. This one is a lot more tame and just kind of takes things mellow kind of deal. Uh, with that being said. So, Jeff Bridges in this, he does a really good job at being a dickhead. He really does. I'm a huge Jeff Bridges fan, so I did enjoy this. But at the same time, there was times that I kind of just almost feel like he was hamming it up. Like, I didn't, I don't know, I just felt not like a real true performance by him. Maybe it's his appearance that was really throwing me off that might be possible because jeff bridges with the bald head and the almost like what i got here going for facial hair that that just something about that but i really did enjoy him he was good robert downey jr was great in this as well gwyneth paltrow actually did a pretty good job too the acting in this actually wasn't half bad john favreau man his little small role that he had in this was Small, but good. It was. Like, there was... He, he made me laugh a few times in it. And there wasn't a whole lot of laughs in this movie. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, in the very early going of the movie, when he's trapped in the cave... If you guys have seen the movie Real Steel with Hugh Jackman, that totally had, like, the same feel from that movie. Because he's sitting there, like, building himself a robot and stuff. And I just kind of felt that when I was watching this. I do believe Iron Man was first, as far as which one came out. Um, other than that, like, there's not a whole lot I want to say about this. I guess I, to say the music, I didn't care for the music in this. I unfortunately did not. <clears throat> the writing wasn't bad. I, I enjoyed the writing. The cinematography in this was good at times. I felt like it could have been better, but it was good. Um, one thing that I did feel like is there was a little a bit of slow. I know, like I was saying earlier, I'm glad it wasn't all just craziness, which I did like the slower, but some of it was a little too slow for me. But other than that, I mean, like I said, this is a good first watch. This was like one of the first movies I ever watched that was Marvel. I think the first one being The Hulk with Eric Bana. This one was probably the next one, so just kind of throwing this on, not really know what would I, what I was getting myself into, and this coming on, I was kind of like, wow, this is pretty cool. Obviously, since then, I've kind of gone down on my gray just because I've kind of have a better realization of what it's about and everything like that. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get right into this director. We got John Favreau, who I mentioned, who's actually in it. Uh, he's done directing credits such as The Mandalorian, pff, come on, Elf, with the Christmas movie, and Chef, which he actually directed and starred in. Those are three of the ones that I've seen, and I actually liked all three of those. As I said, if you've watched my Elf review, I kind of consider myself Elf when it comes to Christmas time. So, yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, IMDb gave it a 7.9 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 94%. I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. I was more with IMDb on this. Um, I know there's a lot of people love it. A lot of people... This this movie did really well as far as to the public. Uh, let's see. Uh, box office. We have a 
585.8 million on a budget of 140, so it made 445.8 million profit. Um, not bad. Half half a billion dollars. Obviously, there is not a problem there. And I've, like I said, I've been a pretty big fan of John Favreau's for a while. Like I've seen quite a bit of his stuff, and have always kind of enjoyed watching stuff that he's done so I do like I feel like he did a good job in this <clears throat> so some of the other people that were actually supposed to be in Iron Man was two of them I guess that were considered were Tom Cruise and Nicolas Cage I am so glad they went with Robert Downey Jr. because Nicolas Cage as Iron Man just does not like that can't sit right with the world seriously i'm not hating on nicholas cage at all but by no means is that man supposed to be a superhero like he went he was in kick ass the first one i remember him in it which I actually i liked his role in that but i am glad they did not get him on for this tom cruise i could have seen it i i, I totally could have seen it but I'm, I'm, I'm glad they went with Robert Downey Jr. And what the craziest thing about it is that this role made Robert Downey Jr. one of the most popular celebrities because of Iron Man's role. So I'm kind of glad they didn't go with Tom Cruise just because he's got Mission Impossible. Like that's his, that's his baby and he's got that. So let Robert Downey Jr. have this kind of deal. That's kind of how I feel about it. Anyways, um, that's all for the review. If there's things I could tell you why to watch this real quick, I'd say good casting. Director John Favreau did a good job and it's a superhero movie. Like it's one of the you kinda have to watch this just to kinda know if you're new and don't know like I didn't know. You just this is one you definitely need to watch. You don't want to pass something like this up. So yeah, that's all for that. Uh up next I'm actually getting ready to watch a uh, solo for star wars so that will be my next review so stay tuned for that guys that's going to be that's going to be a lot of fun to do that one too so yeah that's all like and subscribe check out my letterbox and check out my ebay i've been throwing more movies on pretty much every week so check them out all right have a good night